Okay, we were just getting ready to compute the cost of 1,000. So 0 0.02 times 1,000 copies plus the $10 flat fee gave us $30. So now we can see that as the number of copies increases by 500, the price increases by $10, so plus 500. So as long as they have a pattern here, we can keep the pattern going. And they do add 500, add 500, add 500, add 500. And so I went ahead and filled out the pattern. So just keep adding $10. So next we're asked to graph. So while the video was processing, I filled out a little bit of the graph. So the first we need the X axis. So we look at what's in the X column of the table, number of copies and the variables X. So I put an X there and I wrote number of copies. And then for the Y axis, I can see the variable is C and it stands for total cost in dollars. So I wrote that as well. So now we just have to figure out the units. So I'm going by 500s and I need to go from zero to 2,500. So what if we did two, let's see, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2, perfect. So each two boxes equal 500, two boxes 500, two boxes 500. So this would be 500, add another 500, this would be 1,000, add another 500, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. And we don't need to add 3,000 because it's not there. Total cost is going by increments of 10 so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, ooh, perfect. So we can do two on that too. I like to space it out if I can, just because I don't like it all scrunched in there. So this is 10, 20, two boxes is 10, so that's 30, two boxes is 10, so that's 40, two boxes is 10, that's 50, Two boxes is 10, so 60 way up there at the top. We don't have to put a dollar sign since we have the dollar there. And now we're just going to graph. So let's get a different color. So zero goes with $10. So zero, $10. 500 goes with $20. 1,000 goes with $30. So notice how this graph is not going to have an x-intercept because this graph is going up. So we won't have an x-intercept. We still have the starting point, the base pay, like we did with the cell phone problem way back in module six. But there will not be an x-intercept because the graph's going up. 1,500 goes with 40. 2,000 goes with 50. And 2,500 goes with 60. 2,560. So now we have to ask ourselves: are there numbers in between here? Absolutely. You could order 123 copies or 502 copies. So these are not only the numbers. So that tells me the line's solid. Now I have to decide, will it go back here? Can I have a negative number of copies? No. Can it go up here? Can I make more than 2,500 copies? Absolutely. So this is going to be a one-sided arrow. So we can't go into negative, so it won't go past here. But we will put an arrow on the end because no one said that you could only buy two 2,500 copies. So stop at the y-axis, arrow going that direction. So graph the data, label and scale the axes appropriately. And we did. So that is our cost function, the cost of copies. OK, I think we have some questions about all this on the back. So let's keep that page handy. Oh, all my marker leaked through again. 
So Andy's budget for advertising is $60. How many copies could Andy afford to make and stay within his budget? So he has a budget of $60. So we just go down the table and we go, oh, if he has $60, he can make 2,500 copies. So we can write with $60, comma, Andy can make 2,500 copies. So let's say it wasn't in the table. Do you guys know what you would do if that wasn't in the table? So see my equation? Oops, down a little bit, Kim. See my equation? When they told me he had $60, couldn't I put 60 right there for C and replace that? So then you would have had 60 equals 0 0.02x plus 10. You could have subtracted 10, divided by 0 0.02. So I want you to know that not always are these answers going to be in the table. That's when you go back to the equation and go, okay, $60 is cost. So replace cost with 60 and you could solve that. So let's just write that um, there just so you know, because I don't think the one on the table or the one on the test has the table. So let's go ahead and I'm trying to get everything in the picture. Write that down. So in place of C of X, I'm going to put in 60 because that's the cost. And then I'm just going to solve this equation and verify that I get the same answer. So my X has to be alone. So that means everything else needs to be moved to the other side. So I'll keep the X on the right this time since it's already there. So then I have 50 equals 0.02X. So we always divide by what's in front of the X. So 0 0.02, 0 0.02, and let's see if we get the same answer. We should, right? If it's a table or if it's the equation, you should. But I just want you to know that lots of times the answers won't be in the table, so you have to be able to derive it using your equation. And that's why we make the equation, so we can find all different values. So x equals 2,500 copies. Now let's just write it right here. So that's the algebraic way if it had not been in the table. So now you know how to do both. And I know you've had some of those in the past on some of our notes, but I just wanted to make sure everybody was familiar with how to do it if it wasn't in the table. What is the practical domain? So do you remember domain or the X values? And what practical means is what values of X makes sense for this equation. So we do ask you on the test to write in interval notation, which we haven't done since module six. So this might be some good practice reminders for the final. Plus it's going to be on your module seven test. Practical domain. So what's the smallest X value? So zero, could it go any smaller than that? No, we can't have negative number of copies. What's the largest? Could it go larger than that? Absolutely, can it just keep going and going and going and going? So when we write that, we say zero is included. Remember a bracket means include that number and it could go on forever. You could just make, keep making copies until you were blue in the face. So zero is the least number, and it is possible to make zero copies. So that's why there's a bracket. But then it keeps on going to infinity. 
So now that you've seen me do this, I want you to try to figure out the range. So go look at the Y values in the table and see if you can come up with interval notation for the Y values. And this one also on the test and final says write in interval notation. So write both of those down. so that you remember that for the test. Okay, so did you all figure out what the Y's can be? Let's look at that. So what's the lowest Y? $10, because it can't get any lower than 10. That's a base fee. Can it keep going up, 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 up? Absolutely, as the copies go up, it goes up. So 10's the lowest, and it can be equal to 10, so that means we need a bracket, but it can keep going forever. So that means it's going to be tens the lowest y, infinities the highest y. And remember, we learned infinities always have parentheses, but we use brackets when it's an actual point on the graph. If you were writing an inequality, you would write x is greater than or equal to 0, right? Because this is 0 and it's equal can be equal, and this one would be y, if they asked you to write an inequality, is greater than or equal to 10. So this is called writing with an inequality. This is called interval notation. So let's just make sure. <clears throat> and I noticed on your last test it had you do both. So I don't know if that's going to be on this test, but just FYI, that's what it would look like. Ready for the last one for this monster lesson to be over? <laughs> I'm sure you are as much as I am. Okay, anytime they ask us to interpret the meaning, boom, you look up at your table and fill in what X and Y are. X, number of copies, Y, cost in dollars. So this is number of copies. And this is cost in dollars. And then it makes your work so much easier. It takes an extra 10 seconds to label your points, but then your equate or your sentence just falls in your lap. When I make 5,000 copies, or when you make 5,000 copies, the total cost will be $110. Isn't that easy? All you have to do is look at the table anytime you're asked to interpret a point. Look at the table, label what the X and Y are, and then you're done. If you make 5,000 copies, comma, the cost or total cost, either one, will be $110. Like I said, make sure you label everything. 500 has to have copies attached. 110 needs to have dollars. And you are done. Thank heavens, right? <laughs> See you in a couple days. Bye.